Hi friends, it is me Stace. Welcome to Be A Blessing. For today's video, I thought I would do a really quick walkthrough of the Bibles I'm currently using and what I like each one and what I don't like about each one. So the one I use for my everyday reading is the ESV, which is the English Standard Version. This is a study Bible, and I do prefer my Bibles to be the hardcover, so this one is. You can see it's a rather thick Bible, but I do like how much information is in here. So the first thing I did at the very beginning was I glued the few pages together, and I have my color marking key here. I did a video on this probably close to 10 years ago. I will link it below. It is the same exact color key that I used then, I use now. It's only 10 colors, and I do um, like having that in the very beginning. And then I'll talk about the tabs. I know I'm gonna get asked about those. Uh, these tabs I purchased off Amazon. I will say I think they're really good quality. Um, they're nice and colorful, they're large print, and they are double-sided. It came with a bookmark here as well that has all the books of the Bible on it, and it came with a really easy guide to make sure all these line up nicely. It also came with extra tabs in the back. So also each book has its own tab, so I do appreciate that as well. So we have all these extra tabs in the back. You can put whatever you want on them. You want to put them in your um, Bible planner or your study journal. Uh, you can do that as well. Or what I did, I just broke up the different sections. This is like articles and resources, biblical ethics overview, interpreting the Bible, reading the Bible, you know, different things like that. Okay, then we have the back, which is the maps. I do like these. I th the paper is nice. It's a nice um, quality of a cardstock. They're nice and large, easy to read. They have the scales on them. So when I'm doing an in-depth book study, I go into this book first because it gives me such information as far as the maps. They're nice and large. And we also have that um, really nice, in the very beginning, that nice introduction. So this is all about the introduction to Matthew. Again, it has the same thing. Author, title, date. We have the purpose, the occasion, background, theme, key themes, literary features, outline, timeline, key themes here, maps here. So I really do like this one. As I said, it is a study Bible. So we have the very top, I think I got a page. Yeah, okay. Uh, the very top we have scripture. Then you have a faint line here, and then we have the study portion here. If I'm doing a, just, my, just a general reading of my Bible and I'm having a hard time here, I will go down here. If I'm studying the scripture, I don't go down here. I'd rather go on to like Blue Letter Bible, Bible Hub, um, and just find that information myself because this is more, to me, more commentary, more opinion. Um, I don't, I wanna make, I'm going to form my own opinion of that scripture versus me going down here. If I have a really, really hard time, I might go down there, but for the most part, I use your research on my own. So what I like about this one is the page number is in the center. It also has cross references. I'm not a fan of them being in the center of the book. I find them hard to read here and they are they are rather small print. The Bible itself print is nice, but I do find this to be a little bit um, difficult. Then we have the, again, the study scriptures there. All right, so I do like that one. Let's talk about this one here. This is another hardcover. This is the Life Application Study Bible, NLT. This is the New Living Translation. Again, I have my color code here, and these tabs, I'm going to talk about these ones as well. I got these off Amazon as well. Now, what I liked about these tabs is if I'm having my Bible this way, I can easily read the tabs. In this one, you can see the tabs go the opposite way. So, I mean, it's easy to read because they're nice and large. I don't have a hard time using them, but I do like these ones because it goes that way, the wording. However... Um, they don't give you any extra tabs, nor did I get a guide for this one. And also the books are combined. So we go here to like the book of Jose. On that tab, it has the book of Jose, also the book of Joel. I don't like that. And they're also not double-sided. So if I'm looking this way, I can't read any of the print here. So i um, not a fan of those because they're not double-sided. And also the books are combined. So what I did to find Joel easy in the book of Jose, I added washi tape to it um, to make it easier to find. So that wherever you see washi tape, that means that the books are combined. So we have um, this one here. So we have the book. Let me grab another one. I couldn't grab that one. Okay, so we have the book of Judges. And then we have the book of Ruth is also here. So again, I just covered that. Um, again, study is a study Bible, so we have the top portion here is the scripture. I like that there's a more bold line for the study part. We have the cross references in the middle, 
but they're they're spread out farther, so it's much easier to read. However, the page numbers at the very top in the center, I don't like them in the middle there. I do have hard I do have a hard time finding those. But let me show you here. Let's compare. Let me go to the book of Isaiah. Okay, we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah there and the book of Isaiah here. So I can kind of compare the beginnings of each book. Okay, so this one here, the book of Isaiah, we have or the introduction, author, title, date, theme, uh, purpose, occasion, background. And then we have the simplified overview of the book of Isaiah. Uh, we have a map here. We have key themes, history of salvation summary, literary features, and the outline. Okay, and this one, let me get my glasses. I do find the print here. This is more of a grayish page. This is more of a whiter page. Um, so I think this one's easier to read than this one is as well. All right, so this one, we have the timeline across the top. Um, we also have the vital stats. I have a little summary here. I do like this a lot because it just breaks it down really easy. So we have the purpose, the author, the date it was written, setting, key verse, key people, special features. We have the blueprint and we have mega themes. Okay, and then we have the, the scripture and the study part down here. It also has maps. Let me find a map here. We can find a map in Isaiah. The maps in this book are not color. So I'm not a fan of that. I do spend a lot of time, actually I'm just gonna flip through to find a map. Um, it does have, back here we have, oh, there, we go, there, there we go, there's a map right there. Uh, this is the location of Philippi. So again, if I'm doing an in-depth book study, I wanna know um, where this place is. So I can, I, it's easier, I, I, I kinda get a feel of it. So this talks about that, but it doesn't, um, it talks like this little bit here, you know, maybe a, maybe a few sentences talks about the location of Philippi. Let me see if I can find that in this one as well. Let me see if they're gonna be the same. I doubt they're going to be, but we'll look anyway real quick. All right, let's find the book of Philippians. Here we go. All right, so this one, let me compare so we can find that. Uh, this is the Philippi in the time of Paul. We have the timeline here. We have this, uh, this is in the introduction, but it's a nice colored map. So you can see the difference, how that's black and white. This is colored, it has that little scale there. There we go. This is the setting of, Phil of Philippians. So it looks like it's almost the same map. Okay, almost. Not quite the same, but again, um, it gives me a summary here and then here as well about that. So I did look in, and I can show you an example of two maps. So let's go to the book of Ruth. Okay, so this is the NLT, the NLT, NLT. So we have right here. Oh, the other thing I liked about a lot about this book, and I like a lot about this one, or this Bible, is the very back we have, um, let me first show you. We have, and this is in the NLT, we have, so we have resources, which is like a Christian work, a Christian workers resource. We have an index, so if you want to do a word study, uh, you can look at um, the words here. Then we have maps. This is an index to maps. So if you want to look at all the maps that are in the book of Genesis, they're all here. So you're not, you're not flipping through the whole book. You can find the maps easy here. I do like that. Then we have profiles. I'll talk about that in a minute. Then we have the concordance, which I think all Bibles should have some form of a, a, a concordance in it. It's a nice size. Then we have the maps in the back. I do like these maps. They're really nice and colorful, um, very detailed. They have the scale here, so I do appreciate the maps back here. My favorite part about this is this part here, the index of personality profiles. I wish all the Bibles had this in it because I find it to be extremely helpful. So for example here, if I'm doing a book study on a book that Paul wrote, for example, and I want to find out more about Paul. Um, so it tells me here, Paul, is in the book of Acts, page 1837. Let's get a book of Acts, and we're going to go to 1837. Also, um, this is a red letter Bible. My ESV is not. So, you know, there's a few things I like about each one, a few things I don't like about each one. All right, so here we go. This is the personality profile of Paul. It goes in great detail here about who Paul was, his strengths, his accomplishments, his weaknesses, his mistakes, lessons from his life, vital stats, key verses, and then tells me where Paul's story is told is in Acts. So I do like that a lot. This one does not have that, but I do find this really helpful. Again, if I want to just find out more about who Paul is, I go here. All right, so let me go back 
and compare here. Alright, so let's go back to the book of Ruth. I took my bookmark out, so now I lost it. Let me find the book of Ruth. Again, because they're combined, it makes it hard for me to um, find them. Okay, so we have the book of Ruth. So right here, I don't know if you can see it. This is the setting of the story. Okay, so it has a little map here. Very, very, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this map. Okay, very, it's not very detailed. It, you know, it has the few seas on here, or the few cities on here. We have the Mediterranean Sea, the Sea of Galilee, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Dead Sea, and a little scale. And then this right here is all they talk about on the maps. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you back out. And again, this is the, in the NLT, which is the New Living Translation. This is the book, um, this is the ESV. So again, the same thing, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So it's the same exact map. So you can see here, the setting of Ruth, this one over here, the setting of the story. So it's the same exact map, but this one goes, it, it, I have more detail here. I can see more cities here, a larger scale, make it easier to read, and a little summary here. What I like a lot is it goes in more detail here. So we go to the back, it has the family of Ruth. I find that really helpful as well. So if you compare map to map, this one, okay, I find to be hard to read. It's just black and white, very gray scaled, and it doesn't go in a whole lot of detail. This one has more detail here, and it's also a color map, much easier to read. So there's the two ones. This, again, my everyday. If I'm studying scripture or studying a book study, I will bring both out. The other one I have over here is the Holy Bible. This is the New King James Version. This is large print. Um, this one is more like a book page, so it's not as delicate as Bible pages are. If I find a book here, um, it doesn't go into great detail, but it does go into some. Let me find. Okay, so we'll look at the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, okay. All right, so I have a hard time saying that word. So we have the author which I like. We have a time, key verse, and a theme. So it does give me a little bit of detail, but not a whole lot. And I also like, I, I believe all Bibles have that, is these little subcategories. So I do like that. But there's no cross-reference. Um, nothing like that. No study part. It's just a basic Bible. And it's in the two-column format. I like how it's all the way across. Um, I read that way. I don't read this way. So, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I, I do go in this, if I'm, again, if I'm doing um, a scripture study, a verse mapping, or a Bible study, I will go in and I will compare all three of the translations. Um, so I do like this one as well. But again, it's just, not, there's nothing in here. You know, no maps, nothing. In the very back, we have, um, I do like this, the miracles of Jesus. We also have the ministries of Jesus, and that's all they have back here. So I do like this as well. Uh, you can look at exactly when Jesus was, was baptized, um, when he quiets the storm, when he sends up the 12. So I do like this. When he walks on water um, and it talks about the place, then we have the miracles. So the man with leprosy, uh, the boy with a demon. So you want to just look at who Jesus was. This is a great, play, a great um, spot for that. So anyway, my friends, there are the three Bibles I use. Uh, this is my preference one, the ESV. I like this one a lot, but I do go into this one because this is more detailed as far as who. It get, just makes it easier to break down the who, what, when, where, and why. But I'll, I'll find it here. Then I go into this one to compare and get more detail. And this one I use just for a scripture comparison. So hopefully you found that video helpful. I will link the... the um, the Bible tabs here below. I'm not going to link these ones again. I'm not a fan of these are harder. I'm not a fan of them because the books are combined and they're only single sided. So I will link these ones below and I'll also link um, how I mark my Bible, which you can see again is in this one as well as in this one. So if I am reading that Bible for my everyday reading, um, I like having that here. I used to have it on a bookmark, now it's just in the beginning. All right, any questions, my friends, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.